everyone, I'm Heba and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a get ready with me video using the drugstore products that I did a haul on a couple weeks ago I believe, a few weeks ago, and I just wanted us, you know, to have chat, a chat time and doing makeup, so I think it'd be fun. Alright, actually I think I'm going to do my eyes first, so I'm going to put some tape underneath my eyes. Just regular first aid tape, and I like to cut it using scissors. I like a good straight edge. I know I'm weird like that. And then pull it in half and cut it. And then I like to, you know, put it on my hand to kind of lose its stickiness so it won't pull too much on my skin underneath my eye. You know, we don't need that. Now let's see if I can get them on straight the first time, which would be a miracle. Okay, got one going. This side gives me the problem. Hey, did I do it after the first time? Does it look even? Well, it looks even to me and I'm, I'm sticking to it. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and go with it. And I'll be using the Milani eyeshadow palettes that came in the mail. These are the Most Loved Mattes and the Bold Obsessions. I'm gonna use these palettes right here. I've been really loving the Milani eyeshadow palettes. Here's the bold, the uh, the matte ones, the most loved mattes. And then here's the bold obsessions. This one has shimmers and mattes. Let's go ahead and prime my eyes and I'm gonna use the Milani eyeshadow primer. So might as well, since I'm using Milani eyeshadows, I'll use the Milani eyeshadow primer. So yes, yeah, spring break is over in our house. Our son, Luke, he went back to school yesterday. It was good to have him home. It was really good to have him home. And I'm gonna go ahead and set my primer. I'm gonna go with the Bold Obsessions and just go with a light shade here. They do have the names on the back, but because it's too small for my eyes, I'm just gonna list everything down below for you guys. Okay, let's go with the Most Loved Mattes and I'm gonna go with this shade right here. You know what, let me go with this shade right here to kind of blend it out to start the transition. Yeah. So yeah, he came here, his birthday, we celebrated his 21st birthday. It was really nice. We took him to Dallas and took him out to eat in one of his favorite places. He had his steak. <laughs> Gotta have his steak. And then our daughter Christian, she and her boyfriend Garrett took them, uh, to some clubs in Dallas and Deep Ellum to celebrate his 21st birthday. Woohoo! And it was nice because it was on a Tuesday and they said there wasn't that much activity. So, for my sanity, I'm kind of glad. <laughs> I mean, you don't want to be too much of a, of, of a good time for his 21st birthday, now do we? <laughs> I do say that the picture that they did send he did look happy in that one. Okay, next I'm gonna go with this color right here. It's kind of above that uh, first shade I just used. I'm going with a little bit of a skinnier brush. So yeah, Luke went home yesterday and I'm glad that he made it safe and I'm glad that everyone around him made it safe. It always worries me when he goes back to school because there's a lot of construction going on on 45. And he, we cooked for him, of course, we got to cook for him, and he pretty much took the rest home. And what did we cook for him? We cooked his favorite meals. We cooked his spaghetti, tacos, chicken. And he took pretty much everything home. And let me just say, the food that we gave him, it would probably last us a week. But for him, it would last him for like maybe three days. <laughs> His dad made him some chicken legs. He makes some really good chicken legs. And he can eat two or three of those as a snack at nine, 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> Gotta love the youth and their appetite, their appetite, their metabolism, I should say. Gosh, if we ate that late, I don't think we can sleep. Uh, acid reflux. <laughs> you know, sometimes I like to do is I'll have the mirror down here and I'll tip, tilt my head back and look down in the mirror and that way I can see where the color is. If it needs to be more in the socket or more 
on the crease, above the crease. At least that's what works for me. Okay, I think. See, this eye always gives me a hard time. This one's more of a hooded eye. And don't you just hate it when you have the brush and you're moving it and your skin moves with it? Or is that just only on my skin? <laughs> now, let's go in with the bold obsessions and let me see which. You know, I'm going to go with this shimmer shade right here. And I'm going to use my finger. I like using my finger to put the my glittery, shimmery shadows. This one's like a nice, neutral, light brown shimmer. And I love my shimmer. I love my shimmery lids. I mean, I'll go for the matte look, but I really like uh, shimmer shadows. I really do. And the Milani ones are really nice. They, they really do pack a punch. Is there some fallout? A little bit of fallout, but not too bad. Okay, I'm going for a neutral look, I guess. All right, and then I'll just go back to the second brush and go into that second color and blend that out. And then back to the first one and blend, blend, blend. Blend the harsh lines. Okay, now I need some dimension. So I will go, should I go black? No, I'll go dark brown. I'll go dark, dark brown. I'll go in this dark brown shade right here. We'll try that one. Okay, just blend. You know, sometimes it's nice to have that tape right there to give you that, that crisp edge. And then just bring that in just ever so slightly inside the, the, the crease there. And our cats are doing well. They still do not play well together, but they're slowly or at least Oliver slowly acknowledging her existence in the backyard. <laughs> at least, you know, you see them and they are within yards of each other, you know, probably about five yards from each other. That's what we saw yesterday. They were just, just chill. But let me just say, if she gets a little too close, Oliver will let her know. And let me just build up that shimmer shadow again, because I love shimmery lids. Poof. What do you think guys? Okay, now let's go with the eyeliner. Let me go ahead and do an eyeliner while I have the tape on. Oh yeah, I guess I, guess I should say this is an eyeliner pencil the from Pixie. I really like this one. Again, I like the dark eyeliner on my eyes. I guess the Egyptianness in me <laughs> likes the black uh, black coal on my eyes. And one bad thing about this it is a soft pencil, so you, it does go down, and you need to sharpen it after or before every use. But I am really liking these Milani shadows. You know, I did uh, buy two of these six pan palettes, and right now CVS has them on sale again. Buy one, get one half off, and of course. I did go back and I bought a couple more. So actually I'm gonna do another haul video, more drugstore products. I know, I got quite carried away with the drugstore products. And I also picked up some stuff from Sephora and I, I wanted to show you guys what I picked up that I've been really, really enjoy using or that I haven't used and I just wanna show it to you guys first and, and maybe see how they work. Maybe do another video. Hmm. I'm not gonna do a wing liner today, just a regular eyeliner. All right, let's go ahead and take off the tape and see how that looks. Okay, not much fallout, actually. Just, you know, in the corner of my eye because of my fingers. I think that was it. I'm going to go ahead and take a makeup wipe and just wipe that off. You know, sometimes I think I'm taking off my uh, eye creams when I do this, but my eye creams, you know, I put them on. A good couple of hours ago, so they should have set. But anyway, I still like to put a little bit of moisture back on my eyelids. I mean, on underneath my eyes. Now this one's not going to be a drugstore product. This one I got from the Ordinary. Actually, no, it's not the Ordinary. The Decium Company, which owns the Ordinary brand, 
This one's another brand that they own. This is the Niod, and this is the Fractionate, Fractionated Eye Contour Concentrate. This one, here, let me show you the bottle, and it's very watery. I mean, it's not a gel, it's not very thick, it's like water. And I got this when the Decim company had their Black Friday sale. They had certain packages together in a low price, and you just pick the package, and this was in one of them. And I've been trying this out for a good month, and I like it underneath my eye before I put on my concealer. It, it really does give it moisture. Now, because it is watery, if you put it on your finger, it just runs down like, like water. So what I like to do is just put it on my lid, and I mean not my lid, underneath my eye. You know how you see those YouTubers, they'll put that uh, unicorn tears and just let it drip down their face. No, I don't do that. <laughs> I want it to concentrate on the eye, underneath the eye. But as you can see, but I'll, I'll show it to you anyway. You can see it is, it just runs down the face. I hope you can see that. Like I'm crying. We gotta have that moisture underneath our eyes. And there's another thing that I've been trying is baking. I've tried many types of powders, concealers, different types of concealers with the different type of powders to see but it just always cakes up on me and it makes it looks dry it makes it look dry and finally I decided okay I'm not gonna even bake it I'm not gonna even put a whole bunch of powder or even just you know a good amount of powder underneath my eye and see what happens and that has made the difference that has made the difference for me for for some reason you know, I do set my face with powder, you know, in my T-zone and, and depending on, you know, how it looks and how the foundation is. But I'll just, you know, just tap underneath my eye and that just works. Yes, there are some wrinkles that will show up, but I'd rather have the wrinkles that will show up than having a dry, cakey under eye. That's just me. That's just me. Speaking of that, let's go ahead and conceal. And I like to color correct. I'm going to use the LA Pro Concealer in orange. And believe me, a little goes a long way. A little goes a long way. I've got my dark circles. All right, got my beauty blender here and just blend that out. Oh, you know what? Let me go ahead and put some on these spots right here, my melasma spots. Two of them just right here above my lip makes me look like I have a mustache. <sighs> oh well. Oh, very well. What are we going to do? All right, now I'm going to go with the Age Rewind by Maybelline, the concealer. And I want to say this in the shade Illuminator again, just a little too small for my, my eyesight. <laughs> Try not to get it in my eye because I'm known to do that. Okay. Again, Beauty Blender, or this is by L'Oreal. Now, I'm going to use this foundation. Actually, let me go ahead and prime my face first. I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Prime. Let's see how that works. Probably should have done that before I did my eyes, shouldn't I? Oh, well. Live and learn. And it comes like in a white cream. Kind of thick. Yeah, I probably should have done that before my concealer. Okay, let's go ahead and go with the foundation. And I'm going to use the Maybelline Superstay Foundation. And I picked this up in the haul. And I'm going to use the shade 312 and 310. Now, in the haul, I picked out 312 and 320. But 320 was just way too dark, so I exchanged it for 310. And I'm going to try using both shades together and see how that works. But I'm really liking these drugstore foundations. The Physician's Formula, I'm really enjoying. And I also have the L'Oreal Cushion one that I really like. That's a good lightweight uh, foundation. And I'm going to try this one and see how that one works. I put it on the back of my hand. One pump, one and a half pump of the 312, and a half a pump of 310, and see how that works. Let me show you there. Seems real pretty. 
Let's see if that works. And I try not to put any foundation underneath my eye because that's just too much product for my eyes. Okay, I'm gonna use this Artiste Knockoff by Real Techniques and see how that works. I'm gonna use my handheld mirror here. Okay, I hope that's a good color combo. And I didn't use a, lot, a whole lot. There's still some on my hand you left. So this is covering really well. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows. I'm gonna do that off camera, but I never really did my eyebrows. I didn't even have an eyebrow pencil until I started watching YouTube a couple years ago. And I, I always had my eyebrows thin. You know, back then I went to the nail salon and they would do my eyebrows and they would make them thin. So then I finally found someone here in town that did them and I've been slowly, it was slowly growing them out. And you can kind of see, you know, right here I do have a bald spot. You can kind of see where the original brow was. I'm not using any serums. I'm not using the Revita Lash or the Revita Brow. But this is just years of growing out and even here even till now there's still you know bald spots in my eyebrows so then i started watching youtube and eyebrow pencils really do make a difference <laughs> even my husband he said wow i really like your brows so yeah i think having an eyebrow pencil is really good in for me at least for me that's that's made a difference in mine in my look i guess you could say and the eyebrow pencil that I'm going to be using is by L'Oreal. Yes, it's by L'Oreal. Again, I'll list everything down below because I think it's a brow stylist definer. <laughs> I have to hold it very far, but then it's too far to see. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, did my eyebrows. See? They make a difference. Having Using an eyebrow pencil <laughs> makes a difference. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go underneath my eye, put some color underneath my eye. And let's see here, I'll probably go back to the matte palette and I will use this shade right here that I put in the transition. Let me go a little bit deeper red. Let me go in that one here and see how that one will look. Because you know in the end I'm still going to put my black eyeliner on. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to go in with a different eyeliner pencil, and this one's by Kiko. This one right here that I bought in when we were in Rome in January for our 30th anniversary, and I really like this one. This one I put inside my waterline, because some of the pencils that I have, like the Pixie one, that one doesn't do it as much, but... The product will move, especially in this this eye right here. It will move and you'll get that eye booger. That's what I call it. <laughs> you know, in the corner of the eye where you get that big chunk of black product right there. So I'm just trying to find a product that would stop that from happening. And so far, this, you know, doesn't do it as much or you don't see it as much. It's not as thick compared to the other pencils that I've used. But this one I really like. I know this may seem weird how I'm putting it in my eye, and I love the look that it gives, that bold, dark look. And then just go underneath the lash line there, kind of tilt my head. I don't want to put it too thick down there. Looking good. I like the dark. All right. Let me get some water here. Mm. I'm going to let you look at this cute couple. Look at that cute couple. <laughs> yeah, that was us. What year was this one? 2017, last year. Oh, you got the water sweats. Let me show it to you again. But yeah, that was us in front of uh, Disney World, in front of Magic, uh, in Magic Kingdom, in front of the Cinderella's Castle. I always like to get mugs from their little souvenir. We like going during the Food and Wine Festival, so you can kind of see the Halloween motif there and the ice that I have. We have an ice maker and it makes the Sonic ice. That has been the best investment for us. We love the Sonic ice. Actually, it's making me drink more water because of this ice. We did have an old ice maker and it broke. And when we were shopping around, I said, boy, that'd be nice if they made an ice maker that made the Sonic ice. And lo and behold, they do. 
So we got it. And let me tell you, I'm drinking a lot more water. And water is better for you. Water is better for you. Me, I used to drink literally a two liter bottle of Coke, of Diet Coke. I hear movement. <laughs> Yeah, you can tell. You can come and tell them how much Diet Coke I used to drink. At least two liters a day. Yeah, see? And then until we started getting the sonic ice, then I'm drinking more water. Now I drink two cups of Diet Coke a day. <laughs> <laughs> yes, can I help you? Everything's okay? Yes. Oh, okay. I love you. I love you too, baby. Mm. Okay, now where were we? Okay, let me go ahead and contour my face. I'm going to use the LA Girl concealer again and this is I think in the shade Toast. And I'm just going to put that right there. That kind of give me a little, little definition there. And the contouring I'm still having you know a little bit of a problem trying to find the right color for my skin tone that would give me that good contour. You know this foundation, changing the subject here, this foundation is not moving when I'm rubbing in the, when I'm brushing in the uh, contour, which is good. That is a good plus. Try to hide my sagging jawline. So yeah, I hope this is the right color. And I like how you can make your nose skinny. I like that. All right, now let's go with the Butter Bronzer from Physician's Formula. And I am liking this. And it does smell like butter. It does smell like butter. It smells nice. It makes me want to bake a cake. <laughs> and this is in the deepest, the darkest shade that they came out with. So that's really nice. That seems to be a good bronzer. I really like that. So I guess that is, it really does live up to the hype there. And I do love that better smell. Okay, now let's go with a blush. Let's go with the Milani one, Luminoso. And with my Real Techniques brush, this is a real pretty color. It's not very, or I should say, it's, it's kind of subtle on my skin, and I think it looks great on all skin tones. Okay, let me go for a highlighter. Let's see, these are by Wet n Wild. Which color, which color, maybe this one? I think that would be a good one. I think this is, oh gosh, it's three words. Golden flower crown, I think. <laughs> I think. Yeah. And I also like to put it on my brow bone. Just to give a little bit of highlight there too. Okay, I guess I'll go ahead and do my mascara off camera, but I'm going to put two mascaras on. I'm going to put the, the X-Fiber one and the which one is this one? Total Temptation. These work well together on me. I really do like these. Okay, did my mascara. I did one coat of each. The number one, I think it's like a primer, and then the mascara, number two, and then maybe two coats of this. I do love my mascara, and I like my mascara to have the volume and the length to it. You know what? Let me go ahead and, and powder my face. Let me go ahead and do that, and I'm using also by LA Girl, the face powder there, and let me... You know what, I don't think I have a drugstore brush. Okay, my bad. Thought I did, okay. Mm, okay, I'm gonna have to use the Sigma one. But anyway, oops. I'm just gonna use that and just up my T-zone here. And then a little bit underneath my eye. And then that's all the setting I'll do underneath my eye. I think for me, less is more, I guess you could say. I forgot this. I want to set my face with the Rose Water by Mario Badescu. I really like this one. This is a good, you know, cheaper version of the MAC Fix Plus. I'm not saying it's an exact dupe, but it will set your makeup. And this bottle right here costs $7. And I love the smell. Ah, oh, yes. All right, let me go ahead and put on my lipstick. And the one I'll be using is by Physicians Formula. I am liking this liquid lipstick. Usually liquid lipsticks on me, they dry up. The Anastasia Beverly Hills one, wow. I put that one on and it sucks. <laughs> it sucks the moisture out of my lip and it just dries and cracks. Mm -mm. But this one, this one is like a mousse formula. 
It doesn't dry down like a liquid lip that much, but, and it does leave, you know, marks on your cup and, and kisses, I guess you could say, but I really like the feeling of this. And this is in the shade Red Store, Red Storative Effects. So this is really nice. Okay, you can't talk much. But yes, you know what? Let me do lip gloss. And this one, I was gonna save it for the haul, but I just wanna show it to you guys. This one, I think it's by Soap and Glory. And this is, okay, I'm gonna try to say it very slow because I don't want anything else to slip. This is called Sexy Mother Pucker. Yes, I said it with a P. <laughs> it's right here. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna say that three times in a row. No. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's see. Well, I can't even. I can't even tell you what shade this is. Nude, nude star. This is called nude star. You have to look in the mirror here, the magnifying mirror, to see it. And this is a lip plumping gloss. Yeah, sexy mother pucker. Here's the color right here. Let me try putting that gloss on and see if it, if it plumps. It's kind of glittery. Okay, let me get my beauty wipe to take that off because that's kind of gross, especially with the dark lipstick. I saw it and I thought, I got to get that and see if it works. Just the name alone is worth getting it, huh? <laughs> All right, I think I'm done. I just fluffed up my hair and kept my shirt on. This is the shirt I'm going to stick with today. It's just my comfy polo shirt, my everyday shirt. That I feel comfortable in. <laughs> All right, you guys, I hope you really enjoyed this get ready with me video using the drugstore products. And I really do appreciate you guys watching. And, you know, let me know if you've tried some of these products before and products that you want to try. And what do you think of the name of this one? <laughs> the lip gloss here. That's fun. All right, you guys. All right, again, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. And you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.